Let's take a look at the outcomes for GCSE Maths this summer. And of course, it was the second year of the new 9 to 1 qualification. Now, we'll look at the outcomes for the 16-year-old cohort only. And the reason for that is that we saw a large increase in the number of 17-year-old and over entries this year. Uh, this was the first year that didn't have a resit available for the legacy specification. So all of those post-16 resit students have moved over to the new 9 to 1 GCSE. So we'll look just at these 16-year-old outcomes because that gives us uh, an accurate basis for comparing like with like from last year. And if we look at those outcomes, then they're up a touch, but really very, very stable um, and very consistent with how we saw the outcomes from last year. Now, that's, uh, that's good news. That's what we'd expect to see because of the comparable outcomes approach that we use to awarding. If you want to understand more about how grading and the comparable outcomes process works, then you can click through to watch a video on that. Now, in terms of the grade boundaries for GCSE Maths, we saw some variation. So for AQA, uh, they were stable at the lower end of the grade scale, but towards the top of the grade scale, they did tend to move up a little bit. Now, we think that that just reflects uh, students and teachers uh, understanding the qualification a little bit better and understanding how to perform better at the top end. Now, this picture did vary by board. So where you saw larger variations in grade boundaries, that generally will tend to represent papers that were of a slightly different standard to last year and the grade boundaries moving to reflect that. So where the grade boundaries were pretty consistent, then that's likely su to suggest a consistency in the demand of the assessment from last year. Now, looking at tiering, of course, maths is uh, one of the new tiered GCSEs. And we saw, in terms of the total entry, uh, what looks like a big shift towards foundation tier. So from 47% last year to 56% this year of students being entered for foundation tier. But actually, the vast majority of that reflects those post-16 entries, uh, most of whom will be entered for, for the foundation tier. Now, if you compare uh, like with like for just 16-year-olds, um, looking at the AQA figures only, then we actually saw a slight move in the direction of the higher tier. So last year, we saw about 53% of students entered for the higher tier, and this year that crept up to about 55% of students. Now, what's encouraging, as with last year, in maths, teachers seem to have generally made the right decisions about which tier to enter their students for. So we saw very few students falling off the bottom of the higher tier and failing to secure a grade. And equally, we saw very few students achieving near full marks on the foundation tier, which suggested that maybe they would have been better off on higher. So generally speaking, a really good picture in terms of uh, decision making around tiers of entry in GCSE Maths. Now, if we look at those post-16 outcomes for GCSE Maths, then the challenge of the reform specification becomes clear. So outcomes have suffered as a result of students moving over from the legacy specification. So at grade seven or A or above, it was a consistent picture. 1.5% of students achieved those grades. But at grade four or C or above, we saw a drop from last year, 24.6% to this year, 22.3% of 17-year-olds achieving those grades.